Hello, hello, Dr. Cliff, your movement recovery specialist. Welcome back to our series on Parkinson's disease. Remember, Parkinson's is a neurological condition that affects your flexibility and mobility, your balance, and also the size of your movements. A, a term you may hear is bradykinesia. In this video, we're going to go over my favorite exercises to do in standing to help with flexibility and mobility, as well as balance. If your balance is already a little questionable, especially if you're using a walker to get around, at least starting or on your own, these exercises may not be appropriate. Check out my other video on a similar series of exercises in sitting. Before you start any type of exercise program, it's always a good idea just to get checked out by your doctor or your physical therapist to make sure you don't have any other you know, mobility problems, maybe you know, uh, shoulder replacement you had last year that just limits some of these movements that might need to be modified a little bit uh, just so you don't cause any new problems. So, Let's get to the exercise. I'm going to demonstrate two or three repetitions on each one, but in your workout program, I would start with maybe five of each. And if that's easy, work up to 10 with a goal eventually of doing two sets of 10 or, or 20 total of each exercise. Exercise number one is touch down with a step. So we lift the arms and step out a little bit like a lunge then come back down. We do two on each side, arms up, right leg forward. Then we switch to the other, arms up, left leg forward. Just like that, touch down with a step. Number two is pick the apple. Or here in South Florida, pick some oranges. So step across, reach across, just like this. Come back down, step across, reach across, bring the orange back down to you. Now, stepping across can be challenging, so you may just want to turn and reach, at least to start. So, turn and reach, bring the orange back down, or step, turn and reach, bring the orange back down. Number three is figure eight. Hold the hands together, make a big eight, do about two of those one way. Make sure you're getting the whole body involved a little bit. This is one of the few things that I don't worry too, too much about technique. Usually it's very important, but we're just trying to get everything moving here. Number four is swimming. Now, we cheat a little bit here because it's actually swimming three different ways. So it's really three exercises. So I told you it was eight, but it's actually 11. So. First swimming is freestyle swimming. You're gonna bring the arm up and over, reach out in front of you. Bring the arm up and over, reach out in front, up and over, reach, up and over, reach. Second version is backstroke, just pretty much the opposite of what we just did. Reach up and back, reach up, back, your arm may not go quite that high. If that's the case, then you just do kind of a half back stroke like this. That's okay. You know, wherever your mobility is right now. And the third one, this is the only thing that we don't do completely standing. You'll need a chair. I have a, a low mat table here, but it's breaststroke with standing. So you start sitting, arms and hands in front of you, reach out, stand up, Reach out wide like you're doing a big breaststroke. Bring the arms back together, sit back down. Reach up, stand up, out, come back down. The fifth exercise is cross country skiing. So arm out and then switch. Have those ski poles, let the hips move a little bit. If you're really advanced, you can actually switch the feet while you're switching the arms. This is a little bit more challenging, but cross-country skiing. Number six, 
right, I have to get another hand involved here now, is bowling. So you take your bowling ball, take a step forward with the one leg, bring the arm back, swing through nice and high. Now, hand here, swing through nice and high while you're stepping with the other leg. I'll do it on the other side. Be a little strange for me to bowl left-handed, but that's okay. Start here, step through with the right leg, bring the arm back, bring the arm forward up nice and high. So, stepping out, back, arm up nice and high. Number seven we call disco fever. Just gonna do a little bit of your best John Taroto, right? Step up and out like this, come back in. So, arm and hand on one side, back in. Do the same thing on the other side. Arm and foot out, arm and foot out. Number eight is four square big arms. So you're gonna step, you're gonna imagine like there's a big square with four blocks. You know, the kids play this four square thing where they bounce the ball on the playground. You're gonna imagine you have a ball just, or a square just like that. You're gonna step forward to the one corner, lift the arms up, step over to the next corner, lift the arms up, step back, lift the arms up, and step back over to where you started. Lift the arms up. For some people that stepping backwards can be a little tricky. So like I said at the beginning of the video, standing is a lot harder than the sitting exercises, especially the first time or two you do them. If you know your balance is a little shaky and that's why you're doing these, then you probably should have somebody there just to make sure you're okay stepping back because it can be a little more challenging for most people. Hope you enjoyed these exercises. Remember, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you like this kind of content, I do videos a few times a week on you know, different health and exercise related things. So subscribe and uh, I'll see you soon.